You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kid, if I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we one. even allowed to walk through the eat, door? I'm getting a rankings of only high five. Cloud, been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Wanna try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. 
So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying a month. Trained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Mostly the same like folks every night, so... Oh, yeah, just folks in there uninvited? Listen, the rules for this kind of... Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so... moronic? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son! See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing! But then I lost! And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration! Your precious inspir- who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? How people use me. Hey, wait for me! Hmm? So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, 
I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for it. A favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the inn. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. I'm in for one wild ride. I'm gonna see some weird shit tonight. Yeah! I have the perfect room for the both of you. Just say the word and I'll show you do it. Huh? No, no, no. We're not here for that. Hey, what? If you don't need a room, then look at it. That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait. <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise, like grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. You're a winner! Have a prize! Shit, that scared me. Well, we've done what we said we would. Let's go back and talk to the guy. So this is what it feels like to be a champ. Come on, you guys. Let's save the old fights. I think this is what they said to me. Come on, bro, hurry up. <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little mm -hmm. trip into the... Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Huh? What's this thing? Shit, that's not the sauce. Boys, it seems I misjudged you. Sorry for making you go to all this trouble for nothing. Don't worry, there's still time for you to learn and grow as men. Oh, uh, well... If there's anything else we can do, let us know. All right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. Shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? Uh, getting kind of hungry, actually. Oh, God. I think it's coming from over there. Nope. Stay focused. It's the front. Wow. I saw the new policy in chance. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's see what's on the menu. Hey, wait for me! I still don't know what I'm... Welcome! Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. 
Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know, I think the problem could be faulty wiring. Look around you, this place is falling apart. Hold on, you know a thing or two about electrical wiring? Great, that's the serious business. If you're right about this, my beloved restaurant could be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Let me take a closer look. On closer inspection, it honestly looks fine to me. I'm not seeing anything that might be problematic. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. He seemed to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Oh, oh, God, 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 God. Or what's in this? Oh, off my doorstep, you bum! Sanctuary! Hey, you! This yours? Well... Oh, that a voucher you got there? Could've said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some delivery. Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Yeah, I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver. Literally. So. Let me see. What needs delivery? Here. Need you to deliver this to someone. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere. But make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. <laughs> So, like, how'd you get so strong in here, bro? Get your you the the way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. <laughs> you know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. <sighs> Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. 
If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. <sighs> I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? to confirm what I already knew. There is no one Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I give her a few That dress is completely overshadowed. She's going to like the beautiful flower. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll and honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh. Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honey Bee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. The 
here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? No, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. Those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead.
You tried. <laughs> 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 Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at me! I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. How about it was you a drink? You can talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you see their oh, look of surprise? Wow. Now that was a show. Cloud. Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello. Come on, Dad. Time to go home and get some sleep. Some ice and more drink. What do you say? Please don't. Not a word. Not even one. No! But one. But you're so pretty! I would give anything to get to know her. Hey, one more. Come on. I'm fine. Hey, little lady. Huh? Are you sure about this man? Your nail's gonna give it to me, please. Of course. I'm begging you, miss. Get away from me before I scream. That is one hot chick. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the wall. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. What's 
sweet smell. And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh... Come on. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies, let's hustle. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Ladies, time to line up for the dog. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Hmm. Uh, whatever. 
All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is. Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> no, you stupid! Wait! <laughs> It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Yeah. <laughs> 
Finish him off. See you around. <laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. 
learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. 